What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog. This is me Samir and in today's video let's talk about liquid detected in your iPhone's port. Whether it could be a surprise downpour or a splash in the pool, accident happens and it happens to best of us. But before you resign yourself to a phoneless life, let's see if we can salvage this situation or not iPhones are amazing little machines but not exactly they are submarines water can damage their delicate internal components causing them to either glitch or to get complete shutdown important tip alert whatever you do just do not try to charge your iPhone when it is wet as this will fry the circuits inside it and it will leave you with a brick not a smartphone and now let's talk about how you can get rid of water from the charging port so first thing first turn off your iPhone completely every second counts so do not waste your time trying to power it on or see if it still works second now let's try to dry the charging port itself grab a clean lint free cloth a microfiber would be ideal and gently dab into the port be careful just do not shove anything else in there because it could do more damage to your iPhone and the third thing which you need to do is be patient about it resist the urge to use hair dryer or stick it in the oven extreme heat can warp delicate components let your iphone air dry in a cool well ventilated area for at least 24 hours so just let your iphone air dry in cool well ventilated area for at least 24 hours while air drying method is usually the best but you can also try some different alternate solutions so first thing which you can try is our age old rice bowl remedy placing your iphone in a bowl of uncooked rice can help absorb some surface moisture just an important note in this method and that is some experts does not recommend this method because the tiny rice particles can be locked into your charging port and it could do much more worse than good next thing which you need to do is of course seek professional help if your iphone is not working even after trying all these methods then it is best to take your iphone to a professional repair shop they have specialized tools and techniques to deal with such water damage of your iphone and now let's talk about how you can prevent such poolside panics in future let's face it accident happens so here are some ways you can keep your iphone high and dry in future so first thing first you need a waterproof case for your iphone and let me tell you there are some amazing and affordable waterproof cases out there you can try second thing which you need to do is of course mind your surroundings be extra careful around ponds beaches and that precious cup of coffee and lastly i would recommend that you invest in a wireless charger which charges your iphone wirelessly but make sure that you do not charge your iphone when it is wet even though you are charging it wirelessly so i'm sure that you are ready to face any fiasco like this in future and we are also ready to gain a subscriber so make sure you press the subscribe button also press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post and if you like what you see then make sure you also press the like button and let youtube know that we are doing some good work and you can also download igb app and enjoy everything apple content and of course some amazing all people as well. On this note, this is me Samir signing off, and I will see you in the next one. Till then, Tada, see ya, bye bye, guys.